Okay, so to start my white enchiladas, my white chicken enchiladas, that is, I am going to make a roux. This is going to be the base for our white sauce. So I'm going to turn my heat to about a medium heat. And I'm going to start by melting down four tablespoons of butter. So my butter is almost melted, and I'm actually going to add a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. There we go. I'm going to give that a mix. Now I'm going to add three heaping tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And now start working in the flour to the butter and create a roux. And I'm going to cook this over medium heat, not quite a minute. And if you need to turn the heat down. Okay, so now I'm going to add, slowly add in my chicken broth. This is store-bought chicken broth. And it should thicken. There we go. And as it thickens, just keep adding your broth. I'm ultimately going to add around two to two quarters of a cup of broth. Okay, so I've added so far 16 fluid ounces or two full cups of the broth. I still have like a quarter cup left over and if it gets too thick, I'll just add the extra. So what I'm going to do now is just add a pinch of salt. Depending on how salty or seasoned your broth is, the store-bought broth that I use is low sodium, so I'm just gonna work that in. As it starts to simmer, it'll definitely thicken. Okay, so this has simmered for about a minute. I am going to now shut off the heat, and I'm going to actually move this to the back of the stove, and I'm going to allow this to cool before I continue to make this sauce. For my filling, or the chicken, that I'm going to be making these enchiladas with, what I did is I took two chicken breasts and I seasoned it with lemon pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and this Trader Joe's seasoning that I've been using that I really like, but you could use salt and pepper. You could season it with any seasoned salt or rub that you prefer. Basically, I baked my two chicken breasts in a preheated oven of 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I baked it for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then I let it rest for another 10 to 15 minutes, and then just chopped it up. You could shred it, chop it, however you like. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some, this is a four ounce can of green chilies. I have one scallion that I chopped. And I'm going to add some mozzarella cheese that I grated. You could use Monterey Jack, any white cheese that you have. And if you don't have white cheese, just use any shredded cheese that you prefer. I'm going to add about mm, four ounces. Ultimately, in this entire recipe, I am using 12 ounces of cheese, so there we go. Now I'm just going to give this a mix. Okay, so now I'm going to prep my corn tortillas. Here I have 14, and I'm going to basically pass them through the hot oil just for about 10 seconds to make them pliable. That makes them a lot easier to roll without cracking or breaking. Go ahead and, and just make sure it submerges or gets passed through the hot oil. Give it a flip. And you're not frying these crispy, you just want them to become softened, heated through and pliable. There we go. And onto my baking sheet. And I just, there we go. And I'm just going to continue the process until they are all done. So now, here is my, I guess, chicken gravy that I started with that roux earlier. At this point, it is almost room temperature. It's kind of like lukewarm, and that's okay. So what I'm going to do is add one full cup, or eight fluid ounces, of heavy cream. Now here's the part where things can be versatile. If you don't have heavy cream, but you have eight ounces of sour cream, there you go. Go ahead and give it a mix. Mix that into your sauce. 
You could also add, I mean, a block of cream, softened cream cheese and kind of like simmer it with the gravy to make your cream sauce or your white sauce, but this is what I like to do. Okay, so I'm ready to put this together. I already have my prepped corn tortillas. I'll be using around 14. I reserved about a quarter of a cup of that white cream sauce to pour at the bottom. And here is what I'm going to be filling these enchiladas with. This is seasoned chicken, green chilies, scallions, and just seasoned to taste. And I didn't mention this earlier, but I am using a little over a pound of cooked, shredded, or chopped chicken breast. So here's one of my tortillas, and before I do that, I'm going to pour this sauce at the bottom. Let's scrape that out and just spread that on the bottom. Now take your tortilla and get a handful of your chicken and if some of it comes out it's okay and you're just going to tightly roll it and that is your enchilada. And then right there and I'm going to continue the process until they are all filled and in my baking dish which is a 9 by 13 by the way. Okay, so they are all rolled out, 14 fit, and any extra chicken that I had left, I just kind of put it in these little spots. Now with my reserved mozzarella cheese, I started with 12 ounces, I added some to the filling, and with the rest, I'm going to add to the top. Now I'm just going to pour my cream sauce over the entire baking dish of enchiladas. So this is ready for the oven, with the exception, I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil. So my enchiladas are done. And at this point, you could uncover it and continue to bake it until it gets bubbly and golden brown on top. Okay, so you probably want to let the enchilada set for about 15 minutes before serving, but I couldn't help myself. And I want to show you, this sauce is just so flavorful and creamy. And you can garnish this with more scallions, more green chilies, extra cheese, sour cream, black olives, it's up to you, but take a look at that. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.